Mr. President, UN peacekeeping is a unique innovation of multilateralism to respond to threats to international peace and security. At the current stage, peacekeeping is in a no man's land between trying to keep the peace in fragile environments and trying to enforce the maintenance of peace where there is none to keep. Responses to new security environments require a willingness to adapt abilities to meet emerging realities. In this context, we will offer three specific suggestions for your consideration. First, institutionalization of an approach where all key actors, especially troop contributing countries, are associated in a consistent and predictable manner in the decision-making matrix has been now discussed for decades. Second, further incentivizing women peacekeepers is now essential. In 1993, during the first spurt of peacekeeping, women made 1% of those deployed as uniformed personnel. Today, it is 6%. In 26 years, we have increased the share of women by 5%. At this rate, it may not be possible to meet even minimum targets. Third, innovation in capacity building of peacekeepers needs to be a priority if we are to move away from a culture of caveats that bedevils peacekeeping into a segmented activity. The best tribute that we can pay to the valiant men and women who have served the cause of peacekeeping and to the memories of those who paid the ultimate sacrifice while serving UN peacekeeping is to keep incentivizing change, institutionalizing best practices, and place a premium on innovation. We hope these objectives will inform the next generation of changes of UN peacekeeping that this council undertakes.